All right, Stanley, do you mind if I take your blood pressure now? Would that be okay? That's fine, that's yep. fine, yes. You're feeling Can I all right? keep my fingers hands under my blankets? I'm a bit chilly. Oh, okay, no problems. Yes, yes. Well, what I might do is I'll just get another pillow because I need to put it under your arm. So that's that... right, it must be at the heart level, my Correct. arm at the heart level. Correct, thanks, Stanley. Just got one here. Yes. So I'll just gently pop that under there. Are you okay? Yes, that's marvellous, thank you. Very good. Now I'm going to need the roll, to roll your pyjama top up Yes, to you shouldn't this. take it over the top of pyjamas or no. dressing gowns. That gives a false reading, I That's believe. Right. Yes. So I'll just bring that up a little bit so I can yes. fit the cuff on your, on your arm there. I'm just yes. going to turn it over because I need to be able to feel the brachial artery. Yes. Because this is where I'm going to take your blood pressure from. Okay. Okay, I've put the cuff here. I'm just going to place that, has to be two and a half centimetres above the brachial pulse. So I'm just going to make sure that this is the correct size for you because that's very important. Yes, they say around about 80% or two thirds of the, the arm apparently. Yeah. You know, if you've got too small a cuff, then you can get a false high blood pressure. And if you've got a too large a cuff, you can get a false low blood pressure. Oh, okay. And yes. It also says that we need to make sure that it's two and a half centimetres above this point. So I think I've got that looking pretty good at the moment. You're Very good, I think. Thanks, Stanley. Yes. So this first part, I just need to feel the brachial artery, and I'm going to puff the cuff up. Yes, now I'm going to give you a tip. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Ah. If you go right, it blows the cuff up. And if you go left, left it, it lets it, it down. down. Very good. <laughs> yes. You're full of knowledge, Stanley. Yes, I am, yes. Thanks for your assistance. You're welcome, my dear. Okay, I can feel that pulse there. It's very good. It's nice and strong. So yes. I'm just going to puff the cuff up now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to puff it up. Inflate it, isn't it? Inflate it. Word. Yes. <laughs> until I get to the point where I can't feel your pulse anymore because the pressure of the cuff occludes the, the pulse can't feel it anymore around 120 millimeters of mercury well, there you go. Now I've got a tip. You okay. apparently then have to inflate it 30 millimetres of mercury above that. That's very true. And you know what? Some people just guess that and they've got no idea. You must feel that brachial pulse beforehand. Yeah, it's very important if you want to get an accurate reading. I have read every single one of my grandson's books. Oh. Yes. <laughs> very good. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and take your actual blood pressure reading. Oh, I... Make sure my stethoscope is on. I place it over the brachial artery. No, can I just give you a tip? Make sure you just tap the end of that stethoscope to make sure that you can hear it because it's yeah. got two ways of working. Yeah. Yeah. You turn it the other way and you may not hear. Now I will be quiet now. Okay, thank you, Stanley. I'm about to take your blood pressure. So there's 10, 20, that will be 160. sure that I let it down all the way until I'm positive of that last sound that comes in and that reading was 120 on 60. That's very good. That's so the first sound you heard is the systolic blood That's pressure right. and the last sound you heard is the diastolic. That's correct they're Stanley. Actually called, are you ready for this word? Quarter cough sound. Very good. Yes. And do you understand what the systolic pressure is all about? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah, so the, di the systolic is the maximum pressure in the vessels at any one time. Yep. And the diastolic is when there's the least amount of pressure yes. in the blood vessels at any one time. So that's the pressure when your heart is refilling, so that's when it's right. relaxed. Very good, Stanley. Yes. You know. And so the, the, as, as, the, as the blood pushes out of the ventricles into the circulatory system, Mm -hmm. That maximum push is the systolic, that's the maximum pressure. Very good. And then when the ventricles are refilling, 
from the ventricles are weakening, then you've got the least amount of pressure. Which is the diastolic pressure. That's right. Very good, Stanley. Yes.